What's up everybody, it's your boys, me back at you with another video. In this video, I'm gonna be going over all the news that has taken place since my last news update video, which was two days ago. So I'm gonna be going over everything new that you all should know that has changed in the last two days. To start things off, I'm sure you all have realized that Arena was taken away from Fortnite Mobile on iOS. At first it was taken away from Android too, but I believe that it's back on Android. And the reason behind this is unclear to me. I've heard different rumors about why they've done this, but it hasn't really made much sense to me, and I'm really disappointed in that because Arena with only mobile players was one of the most fun parts about the change. Honestly, the most fun part about the change. So without Arena on mobile, it's a lot less fun, and it just makes this season a lot worse in my opinion. Getting on to some good news, there's been some leaked photos about Fortnite Mobile in Season 4 that Epic Games has made which means that Season 4 is possible to get on Fortnite Mobile because Epic Games is able to do it. And they're the kind of photos that you'd see as advertisements for the new season that you'd put on the app store to make people want to download Fortnite. If you want to see what they look like, I know Golden retweeted it. Some of the news I get is from Golden, so shout out to his Twitter, keeping us all up to date. The photo is 100% iOS. Also, people were saying it was an Android photo, but it's not because you can see the little charging bar and the Wi-Fi thing that only shows up on iOS. Getting to some not-so-great news... Apple recently just removed Epic Games App Store account, which pretty much means that everything related to Epic Games on the App Store is gone. And the sad part about this is you can't download Fortnite Mobile through the purchased apps anymore. So if you delete Fortnite Mobile now, you won't be able to redownload it from the App Store, which is really sad to hear. Epic tried to submit an update request for the V14 update, but it got declined because they didn't change their purchases option to satisfy Apple, and they left it the same, so obviously it got declined. Getting to some better news, Epic Games is refunding anyone who made purchase on iOS before August 28th, but I have heard that you have to like contact Apple to get refunded, so I'm not really sure how they're doing it. I didn't make any purchases, so I'm not trying to get refunded. So I'm not really sure exactly how you do it, but I have heard that they're trying to refund people who made purchases. People are saying that since Epic Games is refunding purchases, it means they might be giving up on the battle against Apple, which would be great. There's no proof to back up that statement other than just pure opinion, but I think it's a good sign. It means that Epic Games might finally be saying, yeah, we messed up and we're going to be looking to get things back to normal. So hopefully that's what it's looking like. But as of now, there's no concrete evidence to support this. So we'll just have to keep an eye out and hope things get fixed soon. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If it was helpful, entertaining, and anyway, please drop a like and subscribe if you're new. It really does mean a lot to us. We'll keep you up to date on all the new Fortnite Mobile news as it comes out. So make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to be up to date on whatever is going on in the Fortnite Mobile news. Thank you all so much for watching and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.